Hey guys, I know I've gone away from a video format of showing you what I'm doing, but I uh, just had a problem come up that I wanted to share in case anyone else building an 801 Super Duty in the future kind of runs into the same kind of thing. Uh, so the, the lesson that I learned is pay very close attention to the drawings, and I'll show you what's going on. So these are the flap runs. I've been working on the flap runs. And you install your nose ribs and your brackets. And if you look at the manual that they send for, they only have one for two models ago, the uh, HD, that's, it, they have the mesh for the brackets come off of the center line, which is where the two flap rons meet. Now, if you look at the drawings here, they have measurements. The measurements for the Super Duty are different than for the HD because you have longer wings. But the key thing to notice is that this 475 goes not from the center line to where the bracket attaches. Rather, it goes from the rib line of the end rib, which is going to be 10 millimeters in, to the rib line, the rivet line, of the nose rib. So that 475 from the center line to the bracket is actually 495 once you add that 10 millimeters here and the 10 millimeters from the rivet line of the nose rib to the bracket. Now I didn't notice that when I installed them in the first place and through uh, some I don't know, fortunate uh, results, the outboard flap runs ended up correct because of I was going to the uh, bracket, not to the nose rib. And so my measurement wound up being correct on accident. However, for the inboard flap runs, they ended up being 20 millimeters off. So you can see down here, I had to drill out. I originally placed the bracket and the rib there. And once I got it all assembled and put the two together and measured the distances between the brackets, realized that I had a problem and had to figure out what it was. So this was the problem. And I couldn't just leave it because then the brackets wouldn't line up with the wings correctly. So I had to drill these out, move them over 20 millimeters, and now they will be in the correct spot. They were 20 millimeters too far away from the other brackets, now they are correctly aligned. Uh, just that came up that I would share. Moral of the story, pay attention to the drawings. It was a very tiny detail uh, from noticing that, I mean, that really all that caused it was noticing that this line was lined up with, I didn't notice that this line was lined up with the end rib, rivet line. And I noticed here that it was lined up with, cause it says rivet line there, it makes it very obvious. I noticed that, but I thought that uh, I would follow the directions in the picture manual instead of in the drawing here, because the picture manual for the HD says to go use such and such measurement to from the center line to the bracket. And so I thought 475, that's going to be from the center line to the bracket. Measured it, drilled them all out. I uh, actually riveted them all, which was, I mean, a little bit of a mistake, but it didn't make that much of a difference because the holes were already drilled. So the problem, the damage was already done. Um, thankfully for most of them, the holes didn't end up too close. Some of them are a little bit close like that one. Uh, on the co-pilot side, there's one spot that's even worse than this. So I'll probably put a backing plate in there to help hold it in place. But other than that, a little bit of damage done, but it'll be recoverable. Uh, and something that I learned for the future. Pay much closer attention to the drawings. All right, guys. Thank you. Uh, hopefully you're getting your plane along and having good luck. Better luck than I did.